In this video, we are going to solve question number 3 and 4. Question number 3. Draw a circle and mark. Yeah, it is center. We have drawn a circle with center as O and diameter as AC. Therefore, part A, it is center is O. Part B, radius. The radius of the circle can be OA, OB and OC. OA or OB or OC. See a diameter. Since AC passes through the center of the circle O, AC is a diameter of the circle. Therefore, AC is a diameter. D a sector. AOB is a sector of the circle. The shaded region represents the sector. Therefore, AOB. Shaded region. E. A segment. ED is a segment of the circle, the shader region. Therefore, ED. F. A point in it is interior. We know that Point P lies inside the circle. Therefore, P is a point in it is in the area. Therefore, point P. G. A point in it is exterior. Point Q lies outside the circle. Therefore, Q is in the exterior of the circle. Therefore, Q. H an arc. We know that AC AB is an arc of the circle. Therefore AB arc AB is an arc of the circle. These are our answers to question number 3. Question number 4. Say true or false. Part A. Two diameters of a circle will necessarily intersect. Here we have drawn a circle and we have drawn two diameters D1 and D2. D1 and D2 passes through the center of the circle. So two different diameters of a circle intersect at the center of the circle. Therefore, statement A is true. Statement B. The center of a circle is always in it is in the ray. We see the center O of the circle lies inside the circle. Therefore, the center of a circle is always in it is in the area. Therefore, the statement is true. The statement is true. The statement is true. These are our answers.